Hello, Great River School community, uh, families and students and employees. Uh, I'm here just to give a little reminder of what we've done and where we are now and where we're going. And in particular, um, we've been using these groups over the summer that are listed over here uh, to inform how we think about COVID planning. And then we'll be meeting with these groups. Uh, all the folks who have volunteered in the past have been invited again to meet sometime in the next week to talk about how things are going in these areas of curriculum and in terms of uh, communication, student support, and health and safety. And uh, every week uh, at 6 p.m. on Tuesdays, I talk about the COVID numbers and the case numbers and then what we're doing and how we're thinking about school. Um, and I just want to say that the reevaluation week that we're going through this week has actually encountered uh, this image here, which is where we report the data uh, about case reports. And what we're seeing among all seven counties where our students come from is that in six of the seven, our numbers are now not only up, but up above 20, and sometimes in the high 20s, like in Anoka County here. Um, so I show that graph uh, again every Tuesday at 6 p.m. at our family forums, and it's located on our school website and also on our school calendar. Um, and we want to see these numbers going down and to the right in our graphs, and instead we see them climbing up and to the right. And so what that means for us is that we've got a school model uh, chart, and then we're going to start, start sharing this more publicly. But based on the cases per county uh, shown here, uh, and again, right now we're in the high 20s, so near, nearing the edge of this, um, this part of the chart right here, uh, we're going to use this chart to decide what kind of model we're in. Um, and again, if case rates go up quickly, we'll have to pull back really quickly to less in-person learning. Um, now, about 100 students are out on site for our school resource center, and most of us are learning from home now anyway. And so I wanted to share with you specifically, you know, how could that look if it changes? Um, and if case rates go down, you'll see us using more combination um, learning models, uh, and possibly if they go way down and hold a hybrid model, and then you can see what the path to in-person learning would look like. But we're going to link this chart in today's uh, newsletter for those of you who are really interested. Uh, and you can see some of the health outcome numbers we're looking at and some of the models we're looking at that we could use in the future and what would happen if case rates go way up. Um, and then, so I also want to let you know that we are planning not only for this kind of operation in, in the terms of the pandemic and as an emergency. Um, but next week, what I'll do is I'll share in detail uh, this graphic, which I'll link now um, in today's uh, newsletter. But this shows um, what it looks like when school is open and there's no interruption to our civil uh, infrastructure and our societies. So, you know, we get everything um, as we would expect it. Uh, in terms of transportation and food and and fuel and work and, and being together. Um, and then what it looks like as we encounter, say, more delays or emergencies. And so right now, we're in this orange level of emergency two in our pandemic. And uh, you can look like you can see what it would look like if we um, start to uh, go down an emergency scale. And you also look at this chart to see what it might look like, um, say, to pause uh, grading or attendance in, in a more uh, explicit emergency. Or in terms of a natural disaster or something more imminent, we, we might cancel school for the day or for a little period of time to get our bearings straight. Um, and so we have plans uh, for how to operate and how to communicate in those times. And I've received a couple questions this past week about that. And so um, next Tuesday at 6 p.m., I'll talk much more about this. Uh, and then also specifically, I'll talk a little bit more about these working groups. And so you can always attend that 6 p.m. Uh, time to learn more about uh, the school. You can always send questions in to us at office at greatriverschool.org. So thanks so much for your time and be well.